Hi everyone, uh, Angus Campbell here, evening of February the 13th. So quickly following on from uh, fitting of the barrels and pistons, then we're going to uh, complete the primary side. So that entails fitting the uh, clutch cable, checking the clutch actuation, and then we'll uh, fit permanently the primary drive cover. So um, I think when we last focused upon this we were waiting for a, a clutch push rod which has now been received and that's been inserted so we just need to um, complete the adjustment on that and fit the uh, clutch cable from the top so I'll go and grab the cable now and we'll get cracking. Right, two initial jobs done on this side. First one is uh, the clutch push rod adjustment screw and lock nut. So that's been adjusted up so the screw is just touching the uh, the push rod which butts up against the actuator on the, uh, on, on the other side of the engine which we'll see in a moment. And lock nut snipped up. Second thing is made sure that the uh, primary chain is at the correct tension with the tension at the bottom so that's all buttoned up too so that's the primary side prepared but what we want to do now is fit the clutch cable check the clutch actuation from the point of view of the pressure plate releasing evenly around the three springs and uh, once we've done that then we can uh, put the uh, primary cover on so we've got the the clutch cable, um, brand new. So what we just need to do is we need to fit it into uh, the adjuster at the bottom here and uh, we'll work on this side and take the uh, cover off so we can get the nip nipple into the uh, clutch actuator, uh, actuator mechanism at the bottom here first before we then feed into uh, the lever at the top end with an adjuster at the top. So we'll get round to the uh, other side and I'll show you what's going on there. Okay here we are with the uh, on the uh, timing side cover uh, with the inspection cap removed and you can see the the, uh, the tang for the end of the inner cable nipple to slot into on the clutch actuator, actuator me mechanism on the uh, um, which uh, works by being ramped by uh, three balls when pulled upwards so just to put it in, into perspective there's the uh, there's the rest of the cover so we'll slot the cable in through here and then uh, we've got uh, should have plenty of room there just to use a pair of pliers just to ensure that the uh, the nipple slots in and then we can just tension up at the uh, at the top end whoops I'm not going to uh, root it properly for now because uh, I've got to get a new uh, rubber cover for where the cables slot through the uh, frame before I do that so we'll just um, arrange it temporarily on the handlebars for now uh, but at least that enables them to uh, to test and if, if necessary adjust the clutch and then we can still crack on and put the primary drive cover on and then reroute the cable from the top end at a later date so that'll be fine okay problem straight away so you should be able to see there nipple inserted correctly into the arm, clutch actuator arm. The uh, adjustment here is wound all the way in and yet the clutch inner is just far too short. There's absolutely no way that that's going to fit anywhere near the uh, minimal point of the adjustment 
and also the cable itself, if it's rooted properly, is just too short. So uh, I'm not impressed, that's the wrong cable. Even though it's labelled up correctly, another pattern part, absolute load of rubbish. Um, I'll probably be able to use that cable as it's a bit shorter on the uh, on the Fury at the back there. But for now, we'll have to abort that job and uh, get another cable on order. And we'll probably go back in the next video to do uh, performing the same job on the Fury and checking that clutch out. Uh, but other than that, now we've got the tank off here, we'll continue with some other jobs regarding uh, wiring etc. Also oil tubes. So we'll do that uh, we'll do that next now within this episode. Okay, uh three or so days later I think. And uh bit of a busy bench because look because lots going on and preparing the uh to think about the uh, the cylinder head for the lightning and waiting for uh another one to arrive from the states which is hopefully a, hopefully a later head in good condition. Um, but in the meantime, back to the, uh, the clutch cable, and I received one of these original Barnet, I think it's Barnet, is it? Yep. Replacement cables produced in the States in the, uh, in the 70s, um, and this looks more like the business to me, it looks uh, a bit of a longer inner. So we'll compare this one which is officially labelled the right part number 603077 we'll compare that with the original one that I tried to uh, install and we'll see uh, how different the lengths are, the inner and outer lengths are so I'll just dig the other one out and we'll, I'll bring it back right there you go then, so with the cable out are fully seated uh, in both cases into uh, the bottom adjuster and the nipple right uh, butted up right against that adjuster you can see the different uh, difference in lengths at the other end and there you have it it's an inch to an inch and a half longer so I can only imagine that um, maybe the original cable that I got which was allegedly a different part number but consistent with six 603077. Is that what we said? 68. No, 60. Yeah, 603077. I can uh, only think that it might be. Well, it's definitely a cable from the right era, um, but I'm just wondering whether it's for one of the other BSA models of 71 or Triumph. Um, but I can't remember the actuation mechanism on the Triumph. That's terrible, isn't it? But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll now focus on the uh, on this Barnet cable, and uh, we'll fit that up to the Lightning, which is still sat here in the right position. Um, so we'll just need to uh, remove the this inspection cap again and slip it in here, and then we'll see what it looks like at the uh, at the top end, at the lever end. Okay, I'll bring it back in a, a sec once I've uh, got that installed on the bottom nipple, as you uh, saw in the last uh, in one of the earlier clips. Right, and there you go, cable in at both ends. Uh, tons of slot there, but then we've got a full adjustment yet at the top end at the handlebars, and uh, full adjustment yet on this long adjuster at the bottom end here. So we'll just do that one first, take up the slack, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, the uh, initial slack taken up, and uh, hopefully you can see uh, the clutch working there down there. If I do it fast actually, it does click a bit, but I think we just need to uh, to make some adjustment, and uh, we'll just tighten up those uh, clutch springs as well while we're, while we're at it. Uh, but yeah, um, Bottom adjuster adjusted, you can see we've taken it out a little way, but there's plenty of adjustments left. 
So we can now put that rubber grommet on, inspection cap on, and uh, we'll just make some adjustment now to the clutch on the other side, so I'll pull it out. Okay, that's it, uh, all adjusted up, and uh, the spring's adjusted so that the, uh, the plate, as you can see, lifts cleanly. And um, a tip as well is that you should always adjust up at this end to allow, to ensure that the, the cam and lever inside this cover um, are fully extended so the lever is right at the bottom of its play inside. In other words, don't take up all the adjustments at the, either at the cable adjuster here at the bottom end or the top end because you want to ensure that the inner cable is right at the bottom so the lever is right at the bottom of its travel so then you get obviously a better uh, a lever action a more efficient lever action if this lever inside is halfway up here um, because you've taken up most of the adjustment at this end and unknowingly pull the inner cable up rather than on the push rod end here and i.e. this adjuster would be you know quite a quite a distance out then you what what you might find when you actuate the clutch is that you'll get a clicking sound and that clicking sound usually is the uh, the ball on the ramps at this end being too far extended uh, so in other words going to the limit of the ramps so that's just uh, a tip so what we've ended up here then is with this adjustment is that the small adjuster here is quite a long way in so that it's nearly flush but that also means then that obviously we've hardly used any adjustment here we've got tons available here to take up cable slack as the cable will stretch as it's new but also similarly under the rubber cover at this end you'll see that we've hardly taken up any adjustment at all and that, that adjuster is, is a very long adjuster, it's an inch and a half or so, so there's tons to go. But as I say, it does mean that internally, then uh, the uh, the actuation, the actuator lever, and it's right at the bottom of its travel, so you then get uh, a good efficient lever up when you pull the top end lever. So it it's lovely and smooth, it's light action, the uh, springs are all adjusted well up, uh, but there is some slight difference to ensure that, that plate lifts evenly. So yeah, we're very pleased with that. So we can go ahead now and just put a very light smear of silicone on the outer cover of this gasket. Make sure that uh, the primary drive rotor nut clutch, well clutch um, hub nut I've already checked. Make sure that nut's tight, but these are already tabbed over but also more importantly make sure that the chain is adjusted and that the uh, primary tensioner uh, the primary tensioner lock nut is tight although uh, I think in this case yeah it's on the outside anyway and uh, we can then uh, just put the cover on with all its uh, with all its screws which we'll do now there we are job done all uh, out of cover all buttoned up and also uh, I've uh, replaced the footrest into its rightful position and uh, tightened it up. Uh, we've also got a good idea of where the brake cut pedal is going to be. It's uh, it's clearing the uh, housing fine. Still got a bit, bit of work to do there yet though. Got the uh, rear spring to put uh, on the other end here of the brake arm before we finish that side of it off but it's uh, just about uh, just about there so there we are another step closer so um, we'll call it there now for uh, this video next job really is uh, waiting for this uh, head to come so what I'll probably do next is uh, transfer back to uh, fury on the bench there because we've got the same job to do to that now as it was just onto the uh, lining here and that is fit uh, uh, fit a uh, clutch cable and adjust the clutch put the cover on in exactly the same way because we need uh, 
exactly the same cable. So I've got uh, another one on the way, which should be here in a couple of days or so. So that's it for now. Uh, thanks very much for watching, everybody. Thanks for interest, comments, and any subscriptions. And uh, I'll see you all again soon. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye-bye.